calls to change a law in our state that forces some retail stores to sell products at prices set by liquor wholesalers. Good evening, I'm Ann Nyberg. And I'm Scott McDonald. Darren Kramer is off. For years, this law has meant people here are paying more for alcohol than elsewhere. Governor Malloy tweeting today, Connecticut is the only state in the country that has a law mandating that retailers of alcoholic beverages sell their products at a minimum price. News 8's Jackie Slater, she's live tonight from News 8 Control with how this impacts businesses and customers. Jackie. Scott, Governor Malloy says the liquor prices here in the state are too high and in some cases are even encouraging people to cross the borders to buy their beverages. Now, this new legislation, if passed, will give store owners the chance to bring the cost to consumers down. Small businesses say that's an unfair advantage to the bigger stores. Darsh's Discount Wine and Spirit in business for 11 years. Sup, Trey? Going on, buddy? A mom and pop liquor store that credits their success to their customers. The best part about this business is the neighborhood. So I know all the you know local patrons. I've seen their kids sort of raise and grow up. So that's one of the biggest elements of being a small business. But for Darsh and many business owners like him, times could be changing. Today, Governor Malloy's office submitting a bill that aims to get rid of a state mandated minimum price package stores can sell at. This afternoon, Malloy tweeting, let's remove the state law forcing certain small business owners to sell their products at artificially high prices. But many small business owners like Darsh say this will actually hurt them more than help. I won't be able to be as competitive. I won't have as many products to choose from and offer the consumer. And yes, we're going to lose some price sensitive customers for sure. Darsh says it's the big box liquor stores that buy in bulk and will be able to sell at discounted rates luring some of his clientele away. Darsh hopes his attention to customer service convinces them otherwise. So far, it seems to be working. We come here quite often. Um, it's right down the road. And small businesses are just good for the community in general. How are you? What's going on? Malloy says the savings passed on to consumers is the driving force behind the proposal. Darsh says the long-term effects may end up costing them even more. I sponsor a local softball team. I sponsor a lot of charity events. I may have to make those cuts at the cost of the community again. You were all set then. Have a good. Interestingly, the site where Darsh's is located used to be a hardware store that was driven out of business after a Home Depot moved into town. Darsh hopes this isn't history repeating itself in a different industry. Live in News 8 Control, Jackie Slater, News 8.